What is going on guys? This is The Lost Yeti here and today we're back again for another episode of Sackboys A Big Adventure. If you look at that countdown clock right there, we are at 97 Dreamer Orbs and we're going to get our next three right here. Factory Dash. I am beyond excited. Uh, I didn't think I'd get to 100 and the next segment of the game only requires 50 so we're really out here stunting on them. Feeling good? Feeling in the vibe? I think I need a little bit of sack boy in my life. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We got a couple falling platforms, a little segue, standard segue race. The way this works is always, I'll show you my first attempt, and then I'll show you a bunch of my fails until I get there. We'll see if I can actually get it on the first go. It's probably not gonna happen. We're gonna try to be as efficient as possible here, but that's not likely gonna happen. Uh, we're actually following this guy to try to catch these as we go down. Oh, that's unfortunate. There we are going to dive out of... Oh, no, no! That was a good run! That was a good run! He wasn't ready! Oh, no, 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 no. How did I squeeze through that gap? Perks on them. They've got the fucking dead shot daiquiri or something, something like that. Actually, I think that came in, in Black Ops, but... Neither here nor there. This is Sax Boy, not Call of Duty. Alright, beautiful. Let's get there, let's get there, let's get there. One moment. Okay, I needed that. Okay, so you're saying there's a chance. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Oh, Lord, we did it. And that actually wasn't too bad. I can take that. Enough tries to be difficult, but not enough tries to actually try my patience. That means... Oh, we had 10 seconds out here. I thought it was less than that. Check that out. We out here with 100 Dreamer Orbs. 100. That's like more than 10. By like 10 times that amount. Man, that looks good. 100 Dreamer Orbs. Just a hundo. Just a quick hundo. You gotta know we gotta unlock that. We got double as many as we need. We stunting on them. And that'll have to be a little bit of a tease for next time, because, well, actually not let, well, maybe next time. We'll see how it works out for the double double level feature, but we are actually going to be checking out. Uh, I unlocked this at some other point. I don't know if it was on recording or not, but we're going to be checking out the interesting interstellar junction, actually, because there's two uh, levels over here for us to do. Not sure which one we're going to go for. It'll be a uh, gut moment, uh, gut decision. Got something on the left. The struggle is rail. Not looking forward to that. And Flossed in Space. Okay, we're doing Flossed in Space. Next time we'll look at the other one and probably the boss fight. Time permitted. See how long the other level takes us. But we going Flossed in Space. Flossed in Space. You know what's funny is like, I always think of the, sorry Dave, I cannot do that. I I've never seen 2001 Space Odyssey, which is that... Uh, the reference that that movie is making and we've got a rocket ship. This is sick. Can I control this thing at all? No But well, we coming in hot for oh, we coming in out for a landing. They just gonna drop yo the teleporters. I Remember these are the Vlaw supporters. I don't actually know what the official name is, but I remember them. I swear Send me brother Send me this is so satisfying that was fantastic. Can we do it again? I jumped out in a leap of faith and almost immediately regretted it. Uh, okay. I'm assuming I gotta jump on these guys. Okay, can I, uh... Excuse me, good sir. I would like to jump... Oh, I got belly flop. I would like to jump on your head. 
Can I just jump up there straight up? Oh yeah, I can just Well, I feel really dumb for that one. We are lost in space. Lost in space. This reminds me a lot of the platforming. So there's a really... Uh, I know this is kind of unnecessary. Um, but anyways, if you're watching this channel, it's pretty much all unnec unnecessary content. That's really what I do. If you've watched any of my other videos, anyways. There we go. Got that one. Um, so yeah, this reminds me a lot of... Um, so if, if any of you have played the PlayStation 2 in, in your life... There is a game, a little known game, uh, called Cat in the Hat, and it has a lot of really weird platforming, like, very similar to this. Maybe at some point I'll throw it up on the channel, it's, uh, like I said, interesting, different. I enjoyed it, I, it, oh, here's a fragment portion. I, I enjoyed it, the daylights out of it. Uh, maybe you will too, I don't know, we'll see. So spoilers, that might be coming very soon, come crush me, brother, thank you. Crush me, brother, speaking of series, is I, uh, I'm, whoa. Got crushed there. Crush me, brother. Um, I really miss Drake and Josh, dude. Like, that's a very nostalgic show for me. I used to watch Nick and Knight all the time. Drake and Josh is where it's at. Actually, that's a lot. Was that even on Nick, Nick and Knight? I mean, I did watch Nick and Knight also, but I, I don't really differentiate one from the other. Crush me, brother. Crush me, brother, again. Okay, that, that, I'm just gonna get stuck in a little loop there. Yo, Nickelodeon was lit. There we go. Uh, semi recently, actually. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I'm still alive. I'm gonna get crushed, but I'm still alive. Semi recently, actually, um, a buddy of mine was going through the process of looking for. Um, the original, uh, well, first season, I should say. Oh! Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, first season SpongeBob, and uh, I had found him for him at a thrift store. And it's actually funny to, act to think, like, what was the first season SpongeBob? Because, like, that was so different than what, like, SpongeBob ended up being. If that makes sense. Like, what I thought were some of the first season episodes would never have been my guess. Like, we referenced the first season so much. Because, you know, like, naturally, as a normal person does, I reference Spongebob pretty regularly. And it's it's crazy to think how much of that's actually from the first season. Like, um, what's a perfect example of this? Um, the... Okay, so first of all, the... What is the name of it? I don't know. Actually, the, it's the Krusty Krab Pizza episode. I don't remember the name of the one. But the Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you yeah i didn't realize that was first season like that would, i never would have guessed that um leap of faith oh okay so that's the out portal so where's the in portal here interesting oh this back one right here got it And then we roll in, roll in, and roll in, roll in. And we're just gonna send that one right to the end. Beautiful. We out here. Stun on these fools. Oh, oh, oh. oh the close one. I was afraid those guys were gonna crush me. We're, we're just momentuming our way through this. I didn't mean do that. Now I'm only getting one chance of this. Make it count. It's hard to get the uh, depth perception right on these last. Alright, here we go. Come on. Through the portal. It's hard to get the depth perception right. It seems like just ever so slightly off. And I wish I was listening to music on this one. Copyright is an absolute pain in the rear end. Uh, Alright, guys. I think that's what we're going to be calling this one. I'm, you know. Good, good, uh, good amount for this episode. It might be cut down a little bit, but I think that's a good amount for this episode. As always, this has been your host, The Lost Yeti, and I hope to catch you guys in the next episode of Sackboy, A Big Adventure.